Stay tuned following the Broncos video for highlights of the Super Bowl halftime show. A 40th anniversary salute to Motown. We got to have a standard every time we come out on this field. We hit it one play at a time, we set a standard, and we keep it that way. This is the beginning, baby, for a good year. Davis the long back, handoff, cuts back middle, big hole, Davis five, close to the end zone, touchdown. Pass intercepted, Darian Gordon, 30, 25, 20, Broncos, touchdown. Let go, set the tempo, set the tempo. Zach on the play, picked up by Alfred Wayne. Come on, baby, come on. There he goes, all the way to the end zone. First down of the eight. In the end zone, pass oh, the oh, and for a touchdown goes John Berkeley. An unbelievable catch by Rod Smith. Davis again, powers his way to the one. Davis, touchdown. Anytime you win in the NFL, you guys are doing something. It's hard to win these football games. TD for TD. Lobs one deep down the field, wants Rod Smith, who's double cover. Smith, oh, great catch. Oh. Fade pattern, wants sharp in the end zone. Got it, touchdown. Davis just burrowed his way over the goal line. What a catch by Smith. We don't get any pressure on these guys, we don't win. Got it, go! That way he dumps it, and here goes Rod Smith. 30, 20, you can forget it. There's the 100 yard mark for Derek LaVille. The Broncos are going to win this one. We didn't come here to win one playoff game. Terrell squares his shoulders into the end zone. Touchdown, Denver. This is the game. Into the end zone. Pass is going to be knocked away. Incomplete. Denver returns to the AFC Championship game. The winner will go to the Super Bowl. Let's go out, walk to walk, play Bronco football. We'll come out champs. John steps up, rifles one in the middle. Leaping reception by Rod Smith. Eric Griffin inside the 10, inside the 5 to the pylon, touchdown. Stewart still on the run. Hit from behind, ball is free, Lodish has it. 3, 2, 1. Denver goes to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 32 is officially underway. Terrell Davis outside the 40, 35, 30. TD down the sideline, inside hey, the 25. Go, go, go. Elway, handoff, Davis into the end zone, touchdown. Play fake, Elway rolls right. He can run it in, John, and will trot into the end zone. Touchdown. Broncos dance up, blitzes on his way. Elway has got the ball, and the ball, ball free. Yes, sir, Denver has it. Our ball. John now squeezes, steps up in the pocket. Elway can run inside the 10. At first, he dies inside the five yard line. My goodness. Hit it, go, go, go. Yeah. Davis, in the end zone, Rocky standing up. Touchdown, Denver. Can you say Denver is in the lead? One play to the championship. Mark throws pass, it's going to be incomplete. Oh, yeah. Denver, oh, oh baby, they're going to win this thing. Are you kidding me? Denver's going to win it. You can stand up and salute in Denver. And you've got the world champions that live in your town. Six playoff loss to Jacksonville may well have been the most devastating defeat in Denver Broncos history. Here we were, the team that was picked to probably be in the Super Bowl last year, and we got knocked off in the first round. And uh, it was definitely an eye-opening experience for everyone, because after that game, you saw the looks in everybody's eyes, like, how did we let this one get away from us? Anytime you don't take advantage of an opportunity like we had, I think it always sticks in your stomach throughout the offseason, throughout the summer camps, and once you do lead into the season. So it was tough. 
Mike discussed that once we got together and say, hey guys, I know uh, what happened the last game of the season left a very disappointing taste in your mouth. He said, the only thing that we can do is practice hard, prepare hard, get back in that same position and go from there. That's all we can do. We set a standard and we keep it that way. So we did some good things last year, but we know there's only one thing we're gonna do is get better. And the only way you do it, the same thing. Every play, you work on execution, you're working your ass off to make sure we get the job done. We think in those terms, good things are gonna happen. Whatever success the Broncos achieved would now come in boldly redesigned uniforms. The new look is, of course, gonna be talked about and criticized and, and liked by some people, but I, I think as we get into the season, it will be accepted. I mean, if we if we have a poor season, they're going to blame it on the lo new logo and the new uniform. But I'm excited because I think we have a very good football team that's capable of going all the way. One reason for such optimism was the arrival of all-pro defender Neil Smith, who would ironically play his first game with Denver against his former club. All right, buddy. Come on, man. All right, baby. Welcome to the good side. You know that's right. Three forty hundred. The Chiefs challenged number ninety with double team blocking. That's right, keep two in there, keep two in there. Sometimes they even attacked in threes, but such strategy backfired when other Broncos beat their single blocks. Ultimately, Kansas City never did reach the end zone against the Denver defense, but it didn't take long for the Broncos to break off the season's longest play from scrimmage. Rod Smith's 78-yard catch and carry set up one of four Jason Elam field goals. Then a fourth-quarter touchdown from Terrell Davis allowed Neil Smith and the Bronco defense the freedom to run wild. He said, open the floodgate, not open the gate, open the dam, open it up now, let's get it going. Don't get scared, baby. Don't be scared. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, baby, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I feel real good about this one. Real good. The upbeat melody continued in Seattle, where the Broncos hit all the right notes to blow away the Seahawks. Another new addition to the defense, corner Darian Gordon made his first big play of the season a productive one. Pass intercepted, Darian Gordon 30, 25, 20, Gordon's gonna walk in, Broncos, touchdown! In gaining their most decisive win ever at the Kingdome, Denver barely had to break a sweat. And that's about as easy as it comes in this league. Terrell Davis added his second straight 100-yard day as the Broncos locked up another divisional win before heading home to face the Rams. Against St. Louis, John Elway filled the Colorado skies with football. Setting up at the 16, throws up the field, the ball is going to be caught. Over the middle and running wide over this, going to be Rod Smith, and Smith is gone. He's gone for the touchdown, 72 yards. Woo! 72 big yards, with all-pro tight end Shannon Sharp sidelined by injury, understudy Dwayne Carswell never missed a beat, hauling in his very first NFL touchdown reception. Darian Gordon soon followed with his own jaunt to the end zone. Backs him up all the way to the six. Here comes Gordon to the 10, he gets a block, 15. Darian Gordon breaks the tackle, 20, still on his feet, 25, 30, 35, Gordon, 45, 50. There he goes! Darian Gordon is going all the way to the end zone! The Broncos had struggled early on, but were virtually unstoppable by game's end. Elway wants a play into the end zone. Pass lofted McCaffrey. Oh, what a catch! Eddie McCaffrey in traffic. Touchdown, Denver. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We all know we don't play our football game. And we played We played but we still won the football game and we won it going away in the second half. As long as you guys understand that, we got a chance to get better. But we have got to get better. Lost a little discipline in that, what, first quarter? Too many penalties, we stopped ourselves. We can't do that and achieve the goals we want to achieve. With Shanahan's words still ringing in their ears, the Broncos were eager to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. You look, you look a little scared. Yeah, you look a little scared. You scared of what we're gonna do to them other than that. Let's go, set the tempo, set the tempo. After his spot.
spotting the Bengals an early touchdown, Denver began to chip away at the visitors' lead. Let's go past 315 trap wide down. Through his long and storied career, John Elway had never lost to the Bengals and kept that streak intact with a pair of scoring passes in the second quarter. Wide open, McCaffrey inside the 10, McCaffrey inside the 5, McCaffrey touchdown! John will roll right, looks right, fires in the end zone, pass caught, Rod Smith, touchdown! Cincinnati went ahead early in the second half, but another Elway missile quickly vaporized the Bengals' lead. Elway into the end zone, pass is caught! That's a touchdown, and that's Rod Smith again. Great route, great route, you see that route? Come on, baby, come on! Then Terrell Davis ran the Bengals right out of Mile High oh, State. Come on, back, come on! There you go! And TV! TD. Meanwhile, Alfred Williams proved there was plenty of giddy-up on the defensive side of the ball. <laughs> it was Denver's third 4-0 start in club history. In each of those previous years, the Broncos ended up in the Super Bowl. We had something happen today for the first time in club history. First guy over 200 yards, and obviously, game ball for TD and the offensive line. After receiving plaudits from their current coach, the Broncos journeyed to Atlanta for a visit with a former Bronco boss, Dan Reeves. Dan was delighted to see old friends like Shannon Sharp. That is, until the whistle sounded. Four-man rush, Elway deep down the middle, intended for Sharp, pass is caught. Shannon Sharp is going to score, 10, 5, touchdown! John Elway added three more scoring tosses, moving him to fifth place on the all-time list for career touchdown passes. And when the offensive line wasn't protecting their quarterback, blockers like number 77, Tony Jones, were clearing wide, spreading lanes for league-leading rusher Terrell Davis. Next up for the Broncos, a Monday night matchup with the defending AFC champion Patriots. In a battle of the league's last unbeaten teams, the Broncos quickly seize the advantage. Coates in motion as Bledsoe again, play fake, in the end zone, pass oh, oh, intercepted, oh, intercepted, and for a touchdown goes John Mobley. Oh, oh, oh. Denver's defense pitched a shutout in the second half by pounding Drew Bledsoe into the turf, en route to the Broncos' 10th consecutive win over New England. Meanwhile, John Elway and Rod Smith thrilled the national TV audience with a pair of acrobatic pass plays. Elway straight back to throw. Here comes the rush. He looks. He fires long and deep near side. And it is caught by Smith with a great catch down to the two-yard line. What a marvelous catch by Rod Smith. Denver entered their bye week as the only NFL team with a perfect record. And loyal Bronco fans were already beginning to visualize a Super Bowl in their future. After a week off, the Broncos returned to action against the victory-starved Oakland Raiders. We can't let win! Come on, let's go! Let's go! I'll lose my voice! Come on, George! George faces a four-man rush, drops back, fires deep pass over the middle, pass is deflected and intercepted! Intercepted by ah, Bill Romanowski! Shoot! Ah, nice! First and goal, Denver. Elway, handoff, Davis bounces left side, trying to break a tackle, does so, Davis, touchdown! Touchdown, touchdown! Terrell yeah. Davis broke the tackle of Albert Lewis. Touchdown, bro, that's what I'm talking about! Right there, baby! Yeah, way to go, baby! Denver finally took the lead midway through the third quarter, but Napoleon Kaufman didn't let them keep it for long. And right in the middle of the line, they give the ball to Kaufman up the middle, first down, 20. Frick to the secondary, he's gone! He's gone! It was 
was the Broncos' first loss of 1997, but their troubles were only beginning. A freak October blizzard dumped nearly two feet of snow in Denver, and the Broncos had to battle the elements just to make it out of town in time for their game with Buffalo. The flight was delayed by several hours. Many players almost missed it and didn't have any rest. Got in around 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning, which is not normal for an away game. And uh, I think players rose to the occasion. We have people getting picked up in snowmobiles, tractors, uh, people driving off the road, down in ditches, guys walking a mile in a, uh, three feet of snow, just barely getting here. And to handle that adversity and get there, say, at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning and still find a way to win the football game said a lot about the character of our football team. Terrell Davis shrugged off the fatigue of Denver's snowbound odyssey and carried a team record 42 times for 207 yards. It was a courageous performance that put him over 1,000 yards for the season. Then the biggest Bronco of them all completed an incredible journey of his own. Seven step drops, green step to the left side, intercepted, intercepted, down the right side, let's keep trailer, trailer, the big fella, oh, all the way, oh, 20, 15, <laughs> 10, keep trailer, oh, the big fella, 62 yards on the interception. The Broncos vaulted to a 20 to nothing lead, but Buffalo eventually battled back to send the game into overtime. Electing to take the win rather than the ball, Denver's defense rewarded their coach's confidence by standing its ground until the Broncos gained field position for Jason Elam to knock home the game-winning kick. The Broncos had survived a difficult week and returned home to face Seattle. By game time, all the snow was gone. And soon after, chances for a Seahawks victory had also melted away. Into the end zone, this is Ronnie Harris, a yard deep. 5'10", heads left side. Hit at the 17, and down he goes. Ball is free, fumble, football picked up, touchdown! The Seahawks scored their share of points, but not even Leprechaun's luck could help them stop John Elway, who moved past Fran Tarkenton into second place on the all-time passing yardage list. Elway play fake, in the pocket, nice protection, Elway deep down the right side, watch Ron Smith, Smith's got it, 5-10, oh. touchdown! <laughs> it was Denver's 13th consecutive regular season home win, a new franchise record. A week later, Mile High Stadium became a winter wonderland, and in the first ever meeting between the Broncos and Panthers, punt return ace Darian Gordon made it seem as if Carolina's coverage team was populated by 11 guys named Frosty the Snowman. Gordon, the NFL's career leader in punt return average, raced 82 yards for a score in the first period. Then just seven odd minutes later, Gordon became only the third man in league history to return two punts for touchdowns in the same quarter. Gordon from the 25, middle 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, here we go again, 45, 40, one to beat Gordon, down the sideline, oh, one, wow. 10, five, are you kidding me? Oh, Touchdown! My goodness! The Broncos continued to bombard the Panthers with touchdowns on both offense and defense. Collins again, steps up, pass over the middle, intercepted, Braxton, 15, 10, 5, yes sir, touchdown! The Broncos Denver. breezed to victory, but faced a much tougher test the following week at Arrowhead Stadium. The 75th meeting between Denver and Kansas City was arguably the most thrilling game of the NFL season. Elway guns it long, looking for Rod Smith. The pass is caught by Rod Smith with an acrobatic catch at his own 19-yard line. And that was a phenomenal catch. Phenomenal catch. Let's go, Brad. Get in the end zone. Find the crow. Let's go. Sharp in the end zone. Sharp got it. Touchdown. Another excellent catch on the The Broncos scored first, but
but the Chiefs roared back to take a 14 to 13 lead at the half. Get there, get there. Oh, there it is. Now Gannon turns left, pumps, throws, lay wide open. Gannon Hughes, touchdown, Kansas City. You go take the empty and uh, he'll take the tight end. Gotcha. Or would you rather cover the back? What do you feel more comfortable? Back? He'll stay with the back. You stay with the wide. Yeah, he'll go with him. While Denver's defense regrouped, John Elway rallied the offense, putting together a masterful drive in the closing moments of the game. Denver led by one with only a minute to play, but then the Chiefs answered back with a miracle of their own. This is it. Either way, a 55-yard field goal tried by Stoinovich, a line and drive it, kick, it. and it is good! 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 Just over the crossbar with no time left. Pete Stoinovich for president. When the ball went over, um, it, it, it just like crushed me. And I said um, after that, that after that day that um, you know I think that this year probably cost us the AFC West. After the Kansas City game, I said, hey, regardless, the thing is to get in the playoffs. You have a chance if you're in the playoffs. You don't even have a chance to win the Super Bowl if you're not in the playoffs. To clinch a postseason berth, the Broncos would have to knock off two division rivals. First in line were the Raiders, who ended up gasping for breath in the rarefied altitude of Mile High Stadium. Elway will turn, hand off Davis, running right side, big hole, Davis, 10, 5, walks in, touchdown! Terrell Davis ran for three scores while John Elway and company traveled easily through the air. Looks left, fires left, Smith inside the five, stops, into the end zone, touchdown! Next up was a battle with San Diego, just where the Broncos hope to be in two months playing in the Super Bowl. Judging by its performance, Denver found the California environs to be most enjoyable. Pressure. Smith may have deflected the ball. Going to be intercepted at water. 20, 10, 5, touchdown! And the Bronco defense is at it once again. It was the first score in Atwater's nine-year career. But touchdowns are nothing new for John Elway, who passed for three of them, including a pair to Ed McCaffrey. The Broncos clinched a postseason berth with the victory, but now sought playoff home field advantage. A win in Pittsburgh would go a long way in achieving that goal, and at the outset, Denver appeared more than capable of soaring past the Steelers. Smith caught one touchdown pass in the first quarter, then stole another in the second. I'm not so sure that ball wasn't intended for Willie Green, and Denver has their third touchdown of the first half. And the Steelers are stunned. But it was to be the last time the Broncos would celebrate the rest of the afternoon. Cordell is back. Has time. Floats a pass for Thigpen. He can't get free. He catches it. He's on a dead run. He's at the 30, a 20, a 10, and he goes for a Steeler touchdown. And that goes into the books as a 69-yard strike. We had everything on the line. We were supposed to play our best football, and we came out, and we got embarrassed by that team. And I think that gave us a wake-up call to say, look, if you want to play better and you want to go deep in the playoffs, you better start doing it right now. I remember walking off the field in Pittsburgh and um, after the game, and Mike was walking off the field with me. And uh, I looked at him and said, Mike, we're going to have to do it the hard way, and we'll do it. It's game day, baby! Raise the roof on this place! The Broncos faced an even tougher test in a Monday night battle against powerful San Francisco. With Terrell Davis lost early due to injury, Vaughn Hebron was thrust into the spotlight, and he responded with a twisting run, 
and a touchdown that tied the game at 17 in the third quarter. But two critical turnovers ended any chance of a Bronco victory. Blitz package again, and Elway throws backwards, and it's picked off. Horton Hanks along the sideline, needs one block. He's down to the 30, he's down to the 20, he's down to the 10, 5, touchdown, Martin Hanks, 49ers have the lead back. All hope of winning the AFC West was now gone, and Denver still needed a win to lock up a first-round home playoff game. Fortunately, John Elway was in peak form during the season's final week riddling the opposing Chargers with four touchdown passes. In 15 NFL seasons, Elway had won every conceivable award and held many of the league's most meaningful records. No quarterback in history had won more games or pulled out as many comeback wins. And yet one achievement still eluded this future Hall of Famer, a world championship. Every Bronco player from its all-pro superstars to the last man on the practice squad wanted to earn a Super Bowl ring for their legendary quarterback. You know, everyone wants to win one for John because he's meant so much to this organization, so much to the city. Um, and he's a great person, aside from a great athlete, he's a great person and a great leader for our football team. I'm not the smartest or the most talented or the smoothest quarterback, but uh, I guess what I've, when I leave this game is I'll always be able to look back and say that I gave you everything I got for 60 minutes. I don't know if they can get that Super Bowl before it's all over. In their first postseason matchup, the winds of fortune dealt Denver a familiar hand in their quest for the Super Bowl, a chance for revenge against the very team that had knocked them out of the playoffs the year before. Hey, like we said all week, this is what we've been working for since April. Let's go out, have some fun, play like we're capable. From the outset, Denver's offensive line seized control of the game, spearheading an opening scoring drive that burned almost eight minutes off the clock. Punch it in, baby! Punch it in! Elway, handoff, Davis right side into the end zone, touchdown! The front wall of Malin, Jones, Schlereth, Zimmerman, and Habib is called Orange Hush, a unit whose actions speak louder than words. Theirs was a performance that took the Jaguars' breath away, as Denver passed and ran on Jacksonville with shocking ease. You can forget it! Touchdown, Denver! Oh, they caught him in a blitz! And Elway and Rod Smith on the side of just are on the same page, and it's touchdown Broncos, their second of the first quarter. The Jaguars' defense was taking a beating, but no one fared worse than cornerback Aaron Beasley. <laughs> hey, Beasley, we coming at you, baby. Hey, Beasley, you know you coming at you. Hey, Beasley, you know we coming at you, Beasley. Elway and Rod Smith feasted on Beasley, number 21, and the result was a buffet of big plays. Bam! 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 There you go! There you go! Let's break it out of baby! Let's break it out of baby! Let's take it out of baby! Lock Howard! Take it out of early, baby! In their first three possessions, the Broncos scored three touchdowns, with Terrell Davis completing the early trifecta. One more, bam! Touchdown! But suddenly, the Jaguars pulled off one of the most amazing plays ever seen in any football game anywhere. He'll punt from the Broncos, 32. It's a high snap. Right foot, a kick is blocked! And there goes Travis Davis, 20, 10, touchdown Jaguars! Yeah! Yeah! With their lead down to four, Denver returned to its running game. Terrell Davis first used a lead block by number 42, Detron Smith. 
and then blocks by seemingly every other Bronco to propel him for 59 yards. The Broncos gained an astounding 310 rushing yards, taking control of the game behind a flawless performance from the line, which carved out wide open expressways to easy touchdowns. Payback was sweet as the Broncos purged their year-long nightmare by completely dominating the overmatched Jaguars. Men, when you stick together, you can accomplish anything. We we started off just like this. We leveled out. You guys hung in there. We, we, we were able to play a great football team, and we, we got it done. I'm really proud of everybody in this room. But we said along. We didn't come here to win one playoff game. This, this is a first step. I want you to, guys to enjoy your win, relax, but we're coming back, and we got one mission. The icy sculptures at Arrowhead Stadium served as a chilling backdrop for the first ever playoff game between two long-time and bitter rivals. It's the day, baby. Two weeks off, two weeks worth of preparation, just to kick a little butt today. Kansas City had not lost a single home game in 1997, but in the second leg of their revenge playoff tournament, the fired-up Broncos would have to find a way to end such mastery. The Chiefs were confident they could run against the Broncos. Denver's defense proved otherwise. And when Kansas City tried to pass, they got a similar response. After a scoreless first quarter, the Broncos suddenly caught fire. Uh, give me point cross, or point triple cross with X on a skinny takeoff. It was a game where John Elway put up the fewest passing attempts of the season, but the throws he made were daggers in the heart of the Kansas City defense. Rod Smith's sideline John led to the first touchdown of the game. And off Terrell Davis left side, crashes into the end zone, touchdown Denver. All right, here we go now, let's go. It was the only score in the first half, and the Bronco defense was hard at work to make it stand. The double team box is like this. Yeah. The center come up, and the guard is waiting to see the defense. Yeah. So he's got to see the jump. Yeah. You keep mixing them up. We jump or not. But in the second half, it was the Chiefs who took the lead. Quarterback wanting to throw the football. Nancy, in trouble. Nancy. Wheeling around. Turning right. Holding the ball in the right hand. Still holds it. Now fires it late. It's our touchdown! Kansas City! Touchdown! Tony Gonzalez! 12-yard pass play! Kansas City takes the lead! Hey! Let's go now! Now the pressure's on! The Broncos refused to fold, unleashing Terrell Davis for a 41-yard burst, the longest running play of the game. Davis's pickup brought Denver close to the goal line, but ultimately yielded no points. Undaunted, Elway rallied his troops once more with another devastating completion, a crossing pattern to the unguarded Ed McCaffrey. Wide open, McCaffrey, heading back inside the 10, inside the 5, to the pylon, is he in? No, he's waved out of bounds, inside the 2-yard line goes Eddie McCaffrey. Here's the play of the game. Davis right side, Terrell squares his shoulders, into the end 
zone, touchdown Denver! Yeah! Now behind by four, the Chiefs took an uncharacteristic gamble on a fake field goal, but the Broncos weren't by. Fake, Aggie are rolling right. Broncos is gonna have it, he's short! He's short, Bronco defense holds! Big, big play, and oh, Marty, I thought you were conservative. But it wasn't over yet. With only seconds to play, the Chiefs mounted a frenzied final charge. Clock is running, 27, 26, 25. Gerbeck, this is fourth and two and a half. This is the game. Clear it, Straight drop back. Gerbeck, plenty of time, into the end zone. Pass is gonna be knocked away! Incomplete! Incomplete, the Bronco defense holds! Yeah! Woo! We beat it! All right, all right, baby! All right! Great job! Great job, Al! Hey! Take your head out of here, C-Wet! Take your head out of here, C-Wet, baby! We got this one! We got this one, baby! We beat a heck of a football team. But this is not our goal. Man, this is not our goal. This is, this is a step. You enjoy it. We got one thing on our mind, and what's that? The Pittsburgh Steelers. Three Rivers Stadium, the last stop on Denver's road to the Super Bowl. All right, no second chances, but let's light it up. No second chances, Byron. Light it up. Great day to be alive. Let's go kick their ass. Let's go, Bill. Let's go kick their ass, bud. Hey, Bill. Hi, right, Mike. Hey, How you doing, buddy? Hey, great year. Thank you. You too. Yeah, thanks, man. Whoever gets this one, let's go on and get the other one. Yeah, that's exactly right. Let's end this damn thing. That's exactly this. right. Exactly right. Hey! Let me know you want this bad. The only thing is, we can only play it one play at a time. Let's go out, walk to walk, play Bronco football, we'll come out chance. Broncos on three. One, two, three. Broncos! John turns hands off Terrell Davis running left. TD over the 30. 35 40. Davis! Go, 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 go! With one explosive play, the Denver Broncos made it clear that Pittsburgh was in for a nasty fight. Terrell Davis became the first runner all season to gain over 100 yards against the Steelers' top-ranked rushing defense. But the Denver back was just warming up. Griffith in motion to the right. Toss, right side, Davis. Cuts up, Terrell Davis is fine. Terrell Davis into the end zone, touchdown! Yeah! Touchdown! Denver scored first, but the Steelers wasted little time issuing their response. Short pocket pump. Rolling right is Cordell. He's going to run 30, 25. He's up the sideline. Cordell goes in for the Steelers. Touchdown. A 33-yard run. And the Steelers are ready to eyeball these Broncos. Listen to me. Keep playing your ass off. Like alert. Crazy. Alert all the trick stuff now. The QB draw. Cordell's going to try and take it over a little bit. We just keep playing our game. Be alert for him taking it over. He's looking deep. Cordell Stewart loads it up and lets it go into the end zone. Pass is going to be fought for and intercepted in the end zone. Stewart is thrown into double coverage a lot today, but only this time did the Broncos make him pay. In their first meeting in December, the Broncos dropped so many passes it cost them the game. But this time their grip was ironclad. Denver overcame a 14-7 deficit late in the first half with several great catches. The best coming from the unlikeliest of targets. Kelly will turn play fake. He's in the pocket. Throws in the flat. One-handed catch by Howard Griffin inside the 10. Inside the 5 in the pylon. Touchdown! Oh, what a catch by Howard Griffin out of the backfield. Griffith had the ball thrown behind him, wheeled around, snatched it with his left hand, and 15 yards later, the Broncos are back in front. Then with only seconds remaining, Denver got one more chance. Okay, would you like to go red right open, sprint right option? To me, we can get out of bounds and get five or six yards. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Elway, with pressure on, rolls right, fires. McCaffrey inside the five, Eddie back to the pylon, did he make it? No, but he's going to be inside the one yard line. Okay, let's go sprint right option. Elway, roll right, same play. Fires in zone. Hey, Touchdown, Eddie McCaffrey. Hey, same yo. play. In the second half, the Broncos' defense only got tougher. 
Stewart will throw short Dang drop go. into the end zone. Pass to intercepted. Yeah. All right. Intercepted in the end zone. A terrible throw on Allen Aldridge with a diving pick. The Bronco defense has done it again. Third interception of the day by the Denver defense on Cordell Stewart, and that was not a good oh. throw. Oh my. Denver's defense was merciless, forcing yet another Steeler misfire. Stewart again with a deep drop in the pocket. Here comes out from Williams, one hand can't haul him down. Stewart still on the run. Hit from behind, ball is free. Denver comes up with a big play on defense. They got a long way to go to get to us. We just can't take a chance of, a, you know what I mean? Just running down right now. And hopefully get a couple first downs along the way. The Broncos, however, were unable to control the clock or generate any more points, giving Pittsburgh an opportunity to stay alive. Look, survey has plenty of time. Breaks out of there, rolls right, fires for the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers! Yeah! Leading by three, Denver needed to come up with a plan to control the ball and kill the clock. Two different thoughts. We could go for the H2 or the double go. Or do you think we should run it? Denver at the Bronco 15 yard line. Snap is good. Five man rush. John throws. Pass caught. First down on the 30 yard line. Shannon Sharp. First down, Denver. Biggest first down of the year. Elway to Sharp for 18 yards. First down, Denver. Oh, baby. Okay, now let's figure this out. They got two timeouts, right? Now, wait, is this game over? No, it's not far from it now. With one more first down, the Broncos would become AFC champions. Elway turns, hands off, Davis bounces back left side. Davis breaks the tackle, midfield. Terrell Davis first down, and he's staying in bounds. All right. The Bronco bench is bouncing up and down. The Broncos are going to Super Bowl 32. Congratulations, thanks, great bud. job, and I'm pulling for you, man. Thanks. Whatever you can do, thanks. I even do help you, you know. Thanks. I'm pulling for you. Bring it home, okay? Thanks. Denver goes to the Super Bowl. They are the AFC champion. Ahead was their chance to end the AFC's 13-year losing streak and win the first ever world championship in franchise history. This right here is not the one we want. I mean, this is not, I'll tell you what, we, we set it from day one. I said, the big trophy is ahead of us. All we got to do is stay focused. There's going to be a lot of distractions that's going to happen. We've got a lot of guys in this room that have been there. And I'm telling you what, the greatest feeling in the world is going to be winning this next football game. And there's only one way you do it. We're going to have a plan. We'll not sit in a game, the schedule, what we have to do in preparation for the next game. And I guarantee you, the next one is a whole lot sweeter. Congratulations. <laughs> Super Bowl 32 was billed as a battle between two of the greatest passers of our time, Green Bay's three-time league MVP, Brett Favre, and Denver's future Hall of Famer, John Elway, who at 37 was facing perhaps his last chance at an elusive Super Bowl ring. A game featuring two such accomplished quarterbacks had many hoping for one of the Super Bowl's greatest aerial shootouts. The airways above Qualcomm Stadium were tested by Favre on the game's opening drive. Three completions to Antonio Freeman help Favre and the Packers take the early lead. Here's Brett straight back in the pocket some time. Going to the end zone. Back there is Antonio Freeman. Touchdown, Packers! Antonio Freeman on an absolutely gorgeous throw by Brett Favre. A 76-yard touchdown drive by the Packers on the very first series of the game. It's all right. Let's go, guys. That's all right. That's all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Got a lot of football to play. Let's go. The Broncos quickly responded. Here comes the blitz again. Hand off left side. Davis. Terrell there Davis. Outside the 40. 35-30. There you go. 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 TD down the 
sideline, inside the 25, still on his feet, inside the 20, inside the 15, first down Denver, a run of... The running of Terrell Davis and even John Elway keyed Denver's opening series. Vintage John Elway there, and the 37-year-old making it happen with his legs. But you know what, Elway slides during the season, he lowered his shoulder right there. Denver's impressive 11-play march made a huge statement against the heavily favored Packers and their heavyweight defense. Davis into the end zone, touchdown! That pretty good way for the Broncos to answer the Packers' opening drive. I tell you what, some stunned people on that Green Bay sideline, they thought it was too easy, and Denver, you're right, that, that's called an answer. On the following series, Denver's defense forced the game's first mistake. Barb unloads, pass to be intercepted! Braxton down on one knee, has got the ball, the Broncos turn him over! The Broncos look to capitalize by letting their workhorse, Terrell Davis, run wild on the Packers. And it seemed he couldn't be stopped until late in the first quarter. And I think Davis may be shaken up. Terrell Davis is on both knees, and this would be bad, costly for the Broncos. After being kicked in the head, Davis was feeling the onset of a migraine headache and the loss of vision that accompanied it. He's got a migraine going. He can't see right now. We got the medication in him, and it should come back real quick. Go, go. Though he couldn't see clearly, Davis was still needed on a key third and goal. What's that? Can't see. Okay, just do this. You don't worry about seeing on this place because we're going to fake it to you, the 15 lead. But if you're not in there, they won't believe we're going to throw the ball, okay? Despite his vision loss, Davis was still an effective decoy on Denver's play fake. And when linebacker Lamont Hollenquist and the rest of the defense focused on Davis, John Elway had an unobstructed view of the end zone. into the middle of the pile, really sold it. Green Bay really pitched everything inside, and he had daylight to the outside on the right. Despite building a 14-7 lead, the underdog Broncos still hadn't earned the total respect of the Packers. We are playing the Indianapolis Colts. We're playing Indianapolis Colts right now. This team is not better than us. They're not even good. We're letting them we're letting them get that thing off. We, you know, we never shit, seen man. a grow. Look, come too when you far. get back in the game, man, we gotta start, we gotta make a statement, man. We gotta make a statement. We gotta bust these dudes in the mouth. Bust them in the mouth. Bust them in the mouth. You make the play. You make the play. You make the play. You make the play. Actually, Denver did seem more vulnerable with Davis's migraine forcing him to sit out the second quarter. What's the deal? What's the deal? It's gonna be about 15 minutes before he comes back. With Davis lost for the rest of the half, Denver's defense picked up the pace with relentless pressure from blitzers like safety Steve Atwater. Broncos dance up, blitz is on its way. Atwater's got four! Ball, ball oh, free! Yeah. Ball free! Yes, yeah. sir! Denver has it! Yeah! Our ball! Steve Atwater on a blind side blitz. Hit Brett Favre in the middle of the back. The ball squirted out, and Denver with their second turnover of the first half. The fumble set up a field goal and a 17-7 Broncos lead. But Favre and the Packers weren't about to go down that easily. And midway through the second quarter, they mounted a drive worthy of a defending champion. Chimura's key third down catch kept the Packers on the move, and in the final seconds of the half, the tight end completed Green Bay's 95-yard scoring drive. Back goes Brett to throw it. Brett pumping. Brett to the end zone. Touchdown by the Packers. Yeah. Caught in the end zone by Chimura at the deep right corner on a little lofted pass by Brett Favre. Oh, what a touch by Brett, Jim. The Packers had cut Denver's lead to three, and with 30 minutes left to play, Super Bowl 32 was taking shape as one of the most exciting championship games ever. Championship. 30 minutes. 
As the second half began, the big question was, could Terrell Davis play? Yeah, he did come out. I bet you they slip it to Davis on the first play just yeah, to check him out. And a pitch goes back to Davis, through the line, gets a couple of yards, lost Bumble. the ball, down about the 27-yard line. Break this the contained. Packers have the ball. The Packers have the ball. You got a concussion. He's scared of running the ball. He ain't running hard no more. He ain't going to run it hard no more. He's scared. They out the game. They're take him out. They're going to take Davis out, man. Davis's fumble led to a Packer field goal, but it did not weaken him or Denver. As the game became more physical, the undersized underdogs bit back. The smallest offensive line in the league dominated the biggest defensive line. As the Super Bowl's most valuable player, Terrell Davis, ran for 157 yards. Gilbert Brown and his mates tiring, the Broncos embarked on a 13-play drive that ate up nearly half the third quarter. First and 10, Denver, 518 left in the third quarter. Offset eye behind Elway, who will turn, play fake in the pocket. John pass it once, lets it go wide open. McCaffrey inside the 40, Eddie Mack inside the 35. First down, Denver. in the gun. The Packers jumping around. They rush four. Plenty of time for John. Now squeezes, steps up in the pocket. Now he can run inside the 10. Head first. He oh, dives oh, oh, the five-yard oh, line. My goodness. He wanted that first down. You want to tell me the 37-year-old man doesn't want to win this game? Man, oh, man. That sacrifice... Oh, man. That kind of play inspires your teammates. And it demoralizes your opponents. Second and goal from the one. Elway, Davis, same play. Davis to the end zone. Touchdown, Denver! Yeah. That was a 93-yard drive. Green Bay right now looking like a very tired football team. Please, baby, give them. I got a team. Give them. Please give them to me, baby. I'm going to give it to you, baby. Boom! Hey. Right up there, we got the big Allen skates. He too big, he too big, ah, he too big. So here we go, Elam. With Denver leading 24 to 17, Green Bay turned the ball over for the third time. Left side, loose guard, ball's free, fumble. Broncos have it. Tim McKayer's recovery of Antonio Freeman's fumble gave the Broncos a chance to go up by two touchdowns. John Elway went for the end zone on the next play. Rifles one of the end zone pass is going to be intercepted. No! No! They went for the kill. The world champs weren't ready to die. And on the Packers' next drive, Freeman atoned for his fumble and tied the game at 24. Favre with two running backs. Now Favre straight back in the pocket looking at that arm. Touchdown for the Packers to Freeman. That was a champion right there. Let's go strong right slot. C left, 19 toss. Elway trots out into the field, and the Denver bench is full of emotion. You got a guy that's going to go to the Hall of Fame at number seven who's done this 44 times in his career. None bigger than this situation. Elway's 45th fourth quarter game-winning drive would be aided greatly by Ed McCaffrey's crushing block. Oh, oh my! Brian Williams, that's Ed McCaffrey that just tattooed you on your back and allowed that thing to go down another 15 yards. It's going in right here. Right it's going in right here. Second and goal from the one with a minute 47. Davis. And it is a rocking standing up. Denver is in the lead. <laughs> Davis is saluting anybody that wants to salute him. And the Broncos are a minute and 45 away from a world championship. To win that world championship, the Broncos would have to withstand one furious drive and one vicious collision. The 
players had taken a physical pounding. But for others, the emotional pressure was tougher to stomach. And people all over Colorado are about to throw up. And the hearts are pounding in Denver. We got three of our guys out. We got three guys out. Yeah. Atwater, Hillier, and Crockett. Super Bowl. Come on. This is it. Come on. One play to the championship. Fourth and sixth for the 31. Blitz is on. Farm. Hit as he throws. Pass is going to be incomplete. Denver home. Denver's going to win it. Oh, baby, they're going to win this thing. Are you kidding me? Go ahead and salute them, Denver. The Broncos have done it. The Broncos are world champions. Denver Broncos. Now the nation salutes you, the world champions of professional football. Celebrity Cruises Super Bowl 32 Halftime Spectacular. Please welcome the incomparable Temptation. Yeah. 
Grambling State University Marching Band. 